Hey game developers, Bilal here, and in this video we're going to go over Unity Collaborate and whether or not you should use it. I know what Unity Collaborate is, it's a version control system, and I'm not going to go into much detail about what that is, but basically that means I can record versions of my code along development, and then come back to versions to find out where I created a bug along development, or for whatever other reason. So to begin with, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new project, and I'm just going to call this one Collab Tutorial. And so there's gonna be a lot of configuration. This isn't gonna be an incredibly fun video, but I'm basically going to be going through the dashboard and setting up my account. Okay, so now that the project's open, uh, what I first want to do to actually set up Collaborate is I want to go to this collab uh, button here, and I'm gonna hit start now. It'll open the services tabs on the right, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick an organization. For me, that's my name. So I'll go ahead and create that. And now I have this collab tutorial as a project in the Unity Services dashboard. And if I want to actually navigate to that, I can press this here. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on collaborate. And then I'm just going to hit this little toggle here. We'll see a loading bar. And now there's a whole bunch I can do. So I'll first click open the Collaborate toolbar. And what you can see is the system. It's basically I can type something in here, which indicates what I've changed. So it'll say describe your changes here. And then because I've never done anything in Collaborate yet, it'll say publish instead of you know update those results. So what I'll first do is go to our dashboard here and that'll pull up my Chrome. And basically here I can go ahead and manage everything and we can see that over here it looks like it actually did make an initial commit so i'll go ahead and see what happens if i hit publish here so i'll say um initialize project um, and it uses this sample scene here so i'll just publish this um, and we'll see it transfers there and then we're good to go so i'll go ahead and tab back into chrome i'll refresh this you can see that it looks like something got added here. And we can actually hop into the timeline here and we'll see that my second commit here says initialize project and I forgot to put a space in there. So that was pretty easy to set up, right? So that's, that's one thing that's nice about Collaborate is how quick it is to set up. One thing that I will mention that's not amazing about Collaborate is a merge conflict. So if I'm working with another developer and we both edit, let's say, we both edit sample scene.unity, right? So we're, we're, we're in there and we're both editing the scene. By default, there is no diffing algorithm. What that means is that there's nothing to actually determine what's changed between files. So you're totally on your own to manage that merge conflict unless you add a diffing program or diffing algorithm to Unity. I haven't actually tried this myself, so why don't we just go ahead and actually try changing something and seeing how that works, right? So I'll go ahead and go into my project, and I think what I'll first do is create a script here, and we'll call this color changer. I'm gonna open this up, and then I'll have this script pop up here. So I'll delete all this, and then in my start function, what I'm just gonna do is grab the renderer, and then grab the renderer's material, and then color, and then set that color equal to color.red. In this first version of the color changer, all I wanted to do is make my current object red, right? So let's go ahead and see if this works correctly. And I'll just go ahead and go to my scene. I'll create a 3D object, it's a cube. And so I'll switch to my inspector here and I'll just drag on the color changer. And ideally, once I hit play here, this thing should turn red. And that's exactly what it does. So what I'm gonna do now is duplicate this cube I'll drag another one here and I'll drag another one here. And actually, I'll drag these on the x-axis. Cool. Um, so on these two, I'll remove the color changer so that we can see only the center one is turning red. So in my first commit here, actually, we want to make sure to save this scene before I continue. Making a commit just because it doesn't push that scene if it's not saved. Anyway, continuing on, I'm going to type in add a color changer script to make my center cube red. And to remove all professionalism, I'll put two exclamation marks at the end there. And I'll go ahead and hit publish now. What I'm gonna do now is feel like, I'm just gonna say, I don't really like that this thing is turning red. I hate the color red. I want this thing to be blue. So I'm gonna switch this over to the color blue. I'll hit play, I'll test it. Okay, 
my cube's turning blue, perfect. Fix cube to turn blue because red is just atrocious. So I'll publish this. So first, one, I'll go back to the timeline just so I'll make sure that that's actually updated there. It says fix cube to turn blue because red is just atrocious. So a couple things. First, now I've changed my mind and, and edited a feature to do something else, right? So one thing that I might want to do is open the history panel of Collaborate, right? Um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this to the side here. And I can see all these different commits that I made, even down to the initial commit. And this is what's really nice about version control in general is that I can just go ahead and hop between any of these. With Collaborate, it's very nice because it's directly in Unity. And so what I'll do is, first I'm gonna check if there are any changes, which it looks like there aren't. And this restore button, what that will do is make sure that all my changes go back to this commit. So right now my cube should be turning blue, right? Because I hate red. But now I've changed my mind again. No, I don't like blue, it's stupid. And so I'm gonna go back to this commit that makes the center cube red. And Unity will do its thing ever so quickly because this project is tiny, mind you. So then I'll hit play. And ideally what should happen is it should turn red. And that's exactly what we see. And so you might be thinking, big whoop, uh, it turned from blue to red. But uh, imagine I've made, you know, a lot of changes. Like I've added a feature, for example, in my SKRPG game. Imagine if I've added the entirety of a trading system. I can revert that entire trading system with, with one click or, you know, one keystroke, whatever it is. And so that's what's really nice about version control and what's really nice about specifically Collab is how I can just do this in Unity very quickly. So before I continue, one thing I want to mention is that with a lot of assets in your project, Collaborate is not this fast. It's very slow and every time you open your project, it will do some checking to see if the project has changed at all. And it's very, very, very slow with a project of notable size. Now with small project, it's totally fine. Not really something to worry about, but it's something to think about as your project scales. And it is something you will notice. Collaborate gets very slow. And I will mention, I don't personally use it partially because of that reason and also because of how kind of simplistic it is and difficult to deal with merges and working with other people, despite the name being Collaborate. Um, sorry, Unity. Anyway, that's one thing to note is that it is slow uh, with that kind of thing, but it does work pretty well for a small project. So continuing on, so right now my cube is turning red on this commit. I'm gonna go ahead and hit restore on the latest commit and I'm gonna lose all local changes because again, this is switching the code over to a different version where the cubes turn blue rather than red, right? So I'll hit play, perfect, it's blue. Okay, so, so now I've decided I want to expand my color changer. I think it's stupid that it's just one color. I think people are gonna want to change what color that they want their cubes to be. So what I'm gonna do is make a public color attribute here. And what this will do is, is let my cube become, you know, whatever color that is. So on start, it will become cube color. So what I'm gonna do is on these cubes that I've removed it, we'll go to the inspector here. First thing I'll do is add this color changer to them. And so on the center one, I'm just gonna do a, a vibrant red. On this guy here, I'm gonna do a, let's see, a green. And we'll do a magenta on this one. I'll try to get magenta. Oh, and also it looks like these things have an alpha of zero and that is no good. So I'm gonna set their alphas to 255. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is hit play after I save this scene. And then I'm gonna hopefully, yep, and, and there we go. So my, my, uh, my script now is coloring these things according to what I've dragged in the inspector on start. And so now I'm satisfied with that. And so now I'll just, I'll call this commit add multicolor feature to cubes. Super exciting. Okay, so I'll pub publish this. And that transfer will go through. And now on the latest version of this project, you'll be able to change these cubes to whatever color you want. So now what else do I want to show you? To begin with, I want to show you that I can actually clone this project through Unity. I believe I can just hit open project here and then we'll see an in the cloud here and we have collab tutorial so what I'm gonna do is create a new folder here called other collab tutorial and ideally if I go into that 
um, project. I should be able to clone the project and reopen the same thing, and we'll see how that goes. This is un unscripted, so I don't actually know if this will screw up or not, but either way, I'll figure out a way eventually to clone this project that I've created. And so it's opened an untitled scene here, so it looks like now it's doing a collaborate download or update to the latest version, and after that goes through, I should be able to go into my project, and then I see my color changer here, and I see my sample scene. And there are my three cubes in a new project. Let's go ahead and hit play. And there we go, cubes. Um, and they're all the colors that I want them to be. So I'll go ahead and uh, stop playing that. And now what I want to try is opening the project without actually having changed anything and see how fast that is with the small project. So I'll go ahead and hit quit on this, on Unity in general. Uh, I'm going to open Finder. Actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and open the terminal here. And I'll go to where that was and go to Other Collab Tutorial, which is where I downloaded it. And the directory is uh, Collab Tutorial. Okay, so I'll hit Open. Actually, what I'll do is open Unity here. And then on disk, I should now have this Collaborate tutorial in that location, which I do. And so I can just open that and let's see how slow this is. And it wasn't slow at all. It was pretty fast. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I want to show you about Collaborate. I would encourage you to try this with a much larger project because you will notice a difference. It will be a lot slower. And I'm not just trying to knock on Unity. Collaborate actually, it, it feels a lot nicer than it had before. We were actually using this at work a few months ago before we switched to Git. It's not bad, but it's also, it's not going to feel sufficient for a big team or a big project, so something to keep in mind. Definitely try this out for yourself. And one thing you might want to try is see what happens when you try to merge things together. Try using a diffing tool. And if it works for you, then it works for you. I'd say definitely if you weren't going to use version control because it's intimidating, definitely start with collaborate. You'll understand what's going on a lot more than you will if you're if you have no idea what's going on, you can start with Collaborate and then move on from there. Especially if you're working alone, it's very nice to have that version control option if you don't need to merge. So with all that said, uh, I will see you in the next video and have an awesome one.